My name is Martin Goodman. I've worked for a long time for SBM and I have the pleasure to be the project manager for this very interesting project, which is the Mopu store. This project will be installed, or the Mopu store I should say, will be installed on the Ema field in the Norwegian sector of the North Sea. It's a very significant project for SBM, and I don't mean that because of its rather considerable monetary value, it really is a first for us. Well, it's different in the sense that um, within SBM we're traditionally more working with um, FPSO, so floating production and storage units. This has been different in the sense that uh, it's not been a conversion project but a, a complete new build. It's not a ship but it's a barge, it's an uh, elevating jackup. So there's uh, quite a number of new aspects that we've never dealt with before uh, in SBM. Our client on this project is Talisman Energy a uh, Canadian company, but uh, this is for their Norwegian operating group. And our main contractor has been Topes Energy, working in their Adyard facility in Abu Dhabi. This is the largest job Topaz Engineering has ever tackled. It was a, probably substantially larger than what everybody thought at the beginning. However, with the help of SBM and Talisman, we've managed to finish the job. Uh, it's been three long years of hard work and working closely together. A Mopu store, that's a mobile production and storage unit, and it has a unique capability to be jacked up and jacked down. What we term the process uh, top size deck is circa 12,500 tonnes, nominal production rate 45,000 barrels of oil equivalent. It produces into a subsea storage tank, and that, which is offloaded via a shuttle tanker. So it's quite a unique concept that SBM have come up with. That this has been a worldwide project. We've had SBM Engineering working in Kuala Lumpur and in Skidam in Holland. We've had many different contractors around the world, literally, from China to the US, everywhere. But it has been also a big challenge and a big of enjoyment uh, in a sense that all, all the things, all the problems that we had on site, you tackle them straight away. We have a very good team on site and everybody's making the best efforts to resolve any issues that we have had in the course of this construction. And the plan for this month is that we are going to skip to the key site tomorrow um, and then towards the third week of this month we will um, skid out over the quayside onto the loadout barges and prepare for a sail away to Norway. The skidding onto the barges is a complex operation. What we had to do in the last three to four weeks was actually put in about 18,000 tonnes of rock into the seabed so that the part of the loadout is actually a grounded loadout. The first barge will be sitting on the rock. This operation has been prepared for days, weeks, months. The size of the unit is one of the biggest done with this method. Um, we will use several barges Due to the shallow draft of the basin, we will have to use one barge grounded, one barge floating. So a lot of challenges are waiting for us. We are well prepared and about to start.